In the biting cold of the Alaskan wilderness, Jack discovered a gravely ill and pregnant wolf, isolated in the vast expanse of snow. Without hesitating, he rummaged through his backpack to find the dried meat he had packed for his own sustenance. With a gentle toss, he offered the food to the wolf, who, after a cautious sniff, began to eat, whispering softly. Jack said, There you go, girl, you need this more than I do. Watching the wolf consume the meal, Jack noted her poor condition. Her fur was unkempt and dirty, signs of many days without proper nourishment. It was unusual for a wolf, typically a pack animal reliant on the collective for survival, to be so alone. Curious and concerned, Jack felt an instant urge to help this lone wolf, whom he affectionately named Luna. Inspired by the silvery sheen of her coat reminiscent of moonlight, realizing that Luna was close to giving birth, Jack's concern deepened about her ability to care for her pups in the unforgiving winter conditions. Driven by a sense of responsibility, he hurried back to his cabin to gather essential supplies. Armed with an axe for cutting wood, a length of rope, and as many blankets as he could carry, Jack worked tirelessly to construct a makeshift shelter near Luna's resting spot. As dusk enveloped the landscape, he approached Luna gently, speaking in soothing tones. Hey there, Luna, I've got a better place for you to rest. Despite her exhaustion, Luna followed his gaze without resistance. Jack carefully wrapped her in a warm blanket and tenderly carried her to the shelter. He placed her on a bed of soft bedding, where she seemed to immediately relax into the warmth and comfort of her new environment. As the first stars began to sparkle in the night sky, Jack prepared to leave, promising, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Luna, you rest now. From that day forward, Jack visited Luna daily, bringing food and closely monitoring her condition. Initially cautious, Luna gradually began to trust him as the days went by. Jack's compassionate acts did not go unnoticed by other forest dwellers. A curious black wolf began to shadow him during his visits. Initially, Jack was apprehensive about Luna's safety and that of her soon-to-be-born pups. But to his surprise, the black wolf seemed just as invested in Luna's well-being as he was. This incredible journey of compassion reached its peak in a heartwarming scene when a now healthy Luna, alongside her playful pups and the protective black wolf, greeted Jack with wagging tails and warm nuzzles. He approached the hunters his presence startling them as he emerged from the thicket. These wolves are under my protection, Jack declared with a firmness that surprised even himself. The hunters looked skeptical, their fingers still close to their triggers. Jack continued passionately, explaining how Luna had been under his care and how the black wolf had joined their little family. Not as a threat but as a guardian. As Jack spoke, he noticed the hunter's expressions soften as they listened to his tale of survival and unity among the different species. He described the birth of the pups during the storm and how the wolves had shown nothing but gentleness and cooperation. These creatures are part of the wilderness here, just as much as the trees and the streams. Jack implored, hoping to touch their sense of reverence for nature. Moved by Jack's earnest plea, the hunters conferred among themselves nodding and eventually agreeing to leave the wolves in peace. Grateful, Jack watched them retreat, his heart lighter but vigilant, aware that the safety of Luna and her pups was a continuous commitment. Returning to Luna's shelter, Jack was greeted by the sight of the tiny pups tumbling over each other. Their playful yips filling the air, Luna eyed him with a look of deep trust and understanding, her amber eyes reflecting relief. Over the following months, Jack dedicated himself to protecting and nurturing this unique family. He brought them food, watched over them, and marveled at the pup's growth and the harmony within their makeshift pack. Jack's connection with the wolves deepened, and he often found himself reflecting on the incredible bond they shared. It was a reminder of the unexpected friendships that life can bring and the profound impact of kindness and understanding. As the seasons changed, Jack remained a constant figure in the lives of Luna and her pups. Forever changed by the winter that brought them all together, Jack nodded in agreement, relieved by their willingness to reconsider. Thank you, he said sincerely, watching as the hunters retreated back through the woods, their steps quieter than when they had arrived. In the moments that followed, 
Jack turned back to Luna and her pups, who had ventured slightly out from the cave. Intrigued yet cautious, Luna, with her piercing eyes and graceful movements, seemed to acknowledge Jack's efforts with a subtle nod. The atmosphere around the den was calm now, a stark contrast to the palpable tension just moments before. Jack smiled, feeling a deep connection to these wild beings he now considered part of his extended family. Over the next few weeks, Jack dedicated himself to further bridging the gap between the local community and Luna's pack. He organized small, guided tours for the villagers, aiming to demonstrate the wolves' harmonious existence within the forest. With each visit, perceptions slowly shifted, the narrative began to change from one of fear to one of coexistence. Jack also set up surveillance cameras around the den and the paths leading to the farms ensuring that he could monitor any potential interactions between the wolves and the locals. This allowed him to provide real-time updates to the community, reinforcing the fact that the wolves posed no threat. As the seasons changed, so did the villagers' attitudes. Inspired by Jack's unwavering dedication and the undeniable bond he shared with Luna and her pups, the community started advocating for the protection of local wildlife. They realized that these creatures were not enemies but rather integral parts of the natural world that deserved respect and space to thrive. Luna's story, once a tale of fear and misunderstanding, became a symbol of hope and unity. It reminded everyone that with compassion and effort, coexistence wasn't just possible, it was the path to a richer, more respectful relationship with the world around them. Jack had been entrusted with the care of Luna and her pups after a nearby village had reported sightings of the small pack getting too close to human habitats. The local wildlife authorities had been concerned about the wolves' safety as well as that of the villagers. Jack, being known for his experience with wildlife, was chosen to ensure that the wolves were relocated safely back into the wilderness. From the moment he took on the responsibility, Jack had spent countless hours ensuring that Luna and her pups could thrive once they returned to their natural environment. He had built them a temporary shelter from the elements. Using branches and logs collected from the surrounding area, he had watched over them, fed them, and slowly reduced their interaction with humans to prepare them for their return to the wild. As he dismantled the shelter that crisp morning, Jack felt a pang of loss. Each log and branch he removed was a reminder of the bond he had formed with the wolves. He spoke to Luna, his voice heavy with emotion, explaining why it was necessary for them to leave. It's time for you to go. Luna, he said, you and your pups need the freedom to live as wolves are meant to. Luna seemed to understand, her keen eyes watching him intently as her pups played nearby. The black wolf, who had been a silent guardian all this while, Observed from a distance, its amber eyes reflecting a wild wisdom. Once the shelter was fully dismantled and the area cleared, Jack folded the blankets he'd used for Luna, preserving them as a memento of this unique chapter in his life. As the moment of farewell arrived, he knelt down, allowing the pups to come close for one final interaction. Their small bodies nuzzled his hand, their fur bristling with the instinctual wildness that would now define their lives. Turning to Luna, Jack stroked her head gently and scratched behind her ears one last time. Thank you, he whispered, his voice a mix of gratitude and melancholy, for trusting me and showing me a side of nature I never knew. With a soft bark, Luna signaled to her pups. They gathered around her, and as Jack stood and stepped back, his voice faltered with emotion. Go on now, it's time for you to be wild again. Luna gave Jack one final look a look that seemed to convey a deep understanding and gratitude, then led her pups deeper into the forest. The black wolf paused for a moment, glanced back at Jack, then followed the pack. Jack watched as they vanished into the woods, his eyes brimming with tears. He stood there for a long time, feeling the weight of the silence they left behind, though he knew he had done the right thing. His heart was heavy with their absence. Nevertheless, he took comfort in knowing that Luna and her pups were where they belonged. Free and wild, as nature intended, after a long time spent wandering through the forest, absorbing its tranquil sounds and experiencing a deep blend of sadness and peace. Jack returned to his cabin. There he pulled out a notebook and began to document his time with Luna. 
the wolf he had grown close to. As he penned down his experiences, he realized that although Luna and her pups were no longer with him, they had profoundly changed his view of the forest and its creatures. A year had passed when, on a crisp autumn day, Jack was exploring the same forest and suddenly, a strange yet familiar sound pierced the air, a wolf's howl. His heart pounding with anticipation, Jack hurriedly searched through the trees until he reached the edge of a clearing. There, he witnessed a breathtaking sight. Luna, now visibly larger and more robust, surrounded by four fully grown wolves. Luna let out a howl that echoed through the forest, a sound likely triggered by her recognition of the place as her sanctuary during a harsh winter. It was the same spot where Jack had helped her and where she had given birth to her pups. As Luna howled, marking her territory and communicating with her pack, tears welled up in Jack's eyes. Observing Luna and her pack, who looked healthy and vibrant, was immensely moving. When Luna's gaze met Jack's, there was a moment of silent recognition, as if she was thanking him for the compassion he had shown the previous year. Then, Luna howled again, this time joined by her grown pups in a harmonious, wild chorus. Jack was overcome with a mix of laughter and tears, thrilled by this serendipitous reunion and the thriving condition of Luna's family. Among the wolves, Jack spotted a streak of black fur. The black wolf was still with Luna's pack. It filled Jack's heart with joy to see that the unique bond between Luna and the black wolf had persevered. For a few precious moments, Luna and her family lingered at the edge of the clearing, perhaps to show Jack how well they were thriving. After one final, meaningful glance at Jack, Luna turned and disappeared into the forest, her pups and the black wolf closely behind her. As the wolves vanished, Jack was left with a profound sense of happiness and pride. Although he had always considered himself just a simple hunter, he now realized he was part of something much greater. His kindness had not only ensured the survival of Luna and her pups but had also transformed him in ways he had never imagined. Have you ever experienced an unexpected encounter with a wild animal that profoundly changed the way you see the world? We'd love to hear about your unique experiences. Please share your stories in the comments section below. Next, there is another story. Let's continue to see it. On a brisk winter morning, as the chilly air nipped at his skin, Andre Musienko decided to stir his body into warmth with some gentle exercise. He wasn't in the mood for anything too strenuous, so he chose a leisurely, extended walk, a perfect choice given the serene, secluded area of Siberia he called home, with a sprawling forest just behind his property. After gearing up in his warmest coat and sturdy boots, Andre stepped into the crisp outdoors. He typically followed a familiar, well trodden path that had been frequented by many before him and would likely continue to be. However, today sparked a desire for a change of scenery and curiosity led him to turn down an unexplored path in the woods, this new route was strikingly different, characterized by its notably wider and taller trees, the dense canopy above barely allowed any sunlight to filter through, casting a mystical ambience around him, as he ventured deeper, a faint, distressed sound caught his attention, a cry for help that couldn't be ignored, following the sound, he discovered its source not far off the path, a small, baby animal curled up against a tree, at first glance, Andre thought he had found a puppy, its eyes were tightly shut, and it appeared to be only a few weeks old, the sight of such a vulnerable creature abandoned in the cold wilderness tugged at his heartstrings, without a second thought, he scooped up the animal, cradling it in his gloved hands, hoping to transfer some of his warmth to the tiny being as he hastened back to his home, his initial rescue filled him with a profound sense of purpose, believing this to be one of the most significant rescues of his life. Once home, Andre wrapped the shivering animal in warm blankets, turned up the heating, and provided it with water. After a short while under his care, the animal ceased shivering and seemed to be in a much better condition. Determined to ensure the well-being of his new companion, Andre contacted the local vet for a thorough checkup. Despite having known this little one for just a few hours, he felt a strong connection and sensed the beginning of an inseparable bond. While he hadn't planned on adopting a pet that day, his intuition guided him to take in the stray, which he initially believed to be a puppy, an act that would soon reveal surprising developments. When Andre first adopted his pet, he affectionately named him Aquila. As the weeks and months passed, Aquila grew significantly in size, 
with his appetite becoming more voracious than Andre had ever anticipated. From the very beginning, it was clear that Aquila had a substantial need for food, a trait typical of young animals, particularly canines and other mammals, who require frequent meals to sustain their energy levels and healthy growth. As Aquila continued to grow, his features became more pronounced, his face sharper and his body more robust. This led Andre to become increasingly curious about the breed of his dog, which remained a mystery. Aquila's unique appearance was unlike any canine Andre or his circle of dog-owning friends had encountered before, leaving them all perplexed. Despite sharing numerous photos and videos of Aquila at different stages of his growth, none were able to pinpoint his breed, in his quest for answers. Andre eventually sought the advice of an animal expert. Upon the expert's request, Andre and Aquila set off for an in person consultation to ascertain Aquila's breed more accurately. Upon their arrival at the clinic and after a brief conversation with the receptionist, Andre and Aquila were ushered into the expert's office. The moment the expert laid eyes on Aquila, she was taken aback. Her surprise was evident, and it soon became clear why. Aquila was not a dog at all, he was, in fact, a Eurasian gray wolf, one of the largest canid species known, the similarities between wolf cubs and domestic puppies are often striking, which explained Andre's initial mistake. However, as Aquila matured, his true identity became undeniable, especially given his size, which far exceeded that of typical domestic dogs. The expert explained that this was a key characteristic to distinguish between the two. The revelation that Aquila was a gray wolf forced Andre to reconsider his approach to caring for his pet. While the idea of having a tamed wolf was intriguing and even exciting to many, it was not long before local zoo authorities heard about Aquila. They reached out to Andre, proposing that Aquila be transferred to their care, citing his need for a more suitable environment and specialized care. Although Andre received numerous calls and emails urging him to consider the zoo's offer, he remained hesitant due to mixed reviews and stories he had heard about such facilities. As Andre grappled with the decision, he knew he had to prioritize Aquila's well-being above all else. The journey from believing he was raising a puppy to understanding he was caring for a wild animal was unexpected and filled with challenges. But Andre was committed to ensuring the best for Aquila, no matter the path he ultimately chose. Andre had never even considered visiting the animal shelter let alone surrendering his beloved companion, Aquila, there. There were numerous suggestions from concerned community members about releasing Aquila back into the wild, primarily for the safety of Andre and those around him. However, Andre was plagued with uncertainty about the wolf's survival in the untamed wilderness, remembering vividly the day he stumbled upon the struggling lone wolf cub, barely surviving on its own, while some argued that releasing Aquila was the most ethical decision. Andre had compelling reasons to believe otherwise, having spent considerable time together and adapted to a shared lifestyle. It was logical for Andre to continue caring for Aquila, taking responsibility for the wolf had forged a bond that Andre felt should not be broken lightly. Initially, Andre's decision to raise a wolf was met with apprehension from his family, who were acutely aware of the risks associated with interacting with wild animals, particularly wolves known for their predatory instincts and impressive strength. However, over time, Aquila never showed any signs of aggression towards humans, which eased Andre's fears and solidified his belief that there was nothing to fear. Aquila had, in many ways, become as tame as a domesticated dog. After more than a year and a half, the bond between Andre and Aquila had only deepened, becoming inseparable. Andre chose to trust his instincts rather than succumb to external fears. And eventually, his friends and family grew to fully support his decision. Both Andre and Aquila were thankful for their fateful meeting in the forest. Today, they live together in Andre's home in Siberia, enjoying as blissful a life as possible. Inspired by his connection with Aquila, Andre went on to establish several wildlife sanctuaries across Russia. These sanctuaries, aimed at providing safe havens for gray wolves and other canines like foxes and coyotes, have become popular and instrumental in saving numerous animal lives. To further support these canines, Andre turned to social media, sharing his journey on his successful Instagram account, at Black Canadian Wolf, which boasts over 100,000 followers. His online audience regularly enjoys a plethora of pictures and videos, making the internet an ideal platform for spreading awareness about wildlife protection. The story of Andre and Aquila has resonated with audiences worldwide and I hope it has similarly touched you. 
I would love to hear your thoughts on this story, so please feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more engaging content. I'm excited to see you in upcoming videos. Take care and stay safe. Thank you.